Hi, my name is Alex with Daytech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering the question of how do I bulk move issues from one project to another? Whether you're trying to move one, 20, 100, or up to a thousand issues, I'm going to show you the shortcuts of how to do this, walk you through the process that you never sacrifice your fingers for carpal tunnel ever again. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And before we jump into the video, three quick announcements. One, I now have a merch store. So if you're interested in supporting the channel financially, check out the link in the description below. I have a few different designs. Get one of each, get one for your coworkers, get one for everybody you know, help support the channel in that way. Second, I now have paid courses. So if you're interested in learning from the Jura expert, me, I offer now paid courses that you can take with me and I will personally help you become a Jura expert. I have three different classes for three different categories. So check them out. They're on the link in the description below. Come take a class, take one of each and become the Jura expert that you know you want to be and I'll help you do it. And then finally, liking and subscribing to the channel really does help out a lot. So please, it's free to you. Just take a second, smash both of them and let's get on with the video. Today we're going to be talking about bulk moving and to be able to do this, we essentially have two ways to get there. The main thing for you to consider is you need to know before you go down this rabbit hole, before you start this endeavor, you need to know, or at least have an understanding of what it is you're trying to move. And typically the, the scenario for the movement of issues is when you have issues in one project and you want to move them to another project. Now that's one scenario. The other scenario, and this one's really counterintuitive. You wouldn't know this unless you've encountered this situation before in the past. But the second reason why you would want to do a bulk move is not to move from one project to the other, but it's to change the issue type. So if you're wanting to convert all your tasks into stories or vice versa, doing a bulk move is going to yield you that result. I know it doesn't make sense because you're not physically moving the issue sun anywhere, but that's just how Atlassian does it. So I'm going to give you some tips, some tricks, and I'm going to walk you through the steps, some of the considerations that you should be considering. So let's go into Jira. We're just going to go into a random project. I'm going to just randomly take any of these projects, trying to find one that I don't really use. I'm going to go into this price and performance. I don't really use this one. And let's actually check and see if we actually have any issues in it. And we don't. So let's take a quick pause and we're going to add issues. So stand by. So here we are in a project and here's all the issues that are in this project. Now, the easiest thing to sample is I'm going to first convert these into epics. Now, I do have the option to basically sit here. This is much easier if you're in detailed view. And I do have the option to sit here, click on the little icon, and change the issue type to be a story. This is something that is completely possible. But now I got to go do it for each one. And as you can see, it's easy when I have nine, but when you have hundreds and hundreds, it's not that simple. So there's an easier way. So rather than doing one by one, I'm going to show you how to perform a bulk move, which is going to then convert all the remaining eight tasks here, specifically these epics that I have here, and we're going to convert them into stories. So once you have your issues in your search here, and to get to this, all you got to do is go to issues here. Every project has the issues. So you just got to go to issues and find the issues, whether you're modifying the search here, maybe you just want to move all the open ones. Maybe you want to move all the done ones. Maybe you want to move a specific type, whatever your case may be in this screen here within the issues section of your Jira project. This is where you're going to arrive at your conclusion as to this is the issue that I want to now move. Okay. And this is regardless of whether you're going to move them to another project or if you're just going to change your issue type, the, the steps are exactly the same. So I'm going to just basically show you how to move them for an issue type, but again, it's pretty much the exact same steps. So now that we have our list, the first thing, this is the first thing that I'm going to do. So this is just a CYA. You don't have to do this, but this is my personal first step because this will save you headaches in case things go south on you. So the first thing that I do here is I, once I have my list, I export my issues with CSV all fields. And I do this just so that in case something goes wrong with the move, I have a backup. I have a, an ability to go back and bring things back in and restore things to their original state. This is again, just a CYA, just in case things don't go as planned. But assuming everything goes right, 
you do your export. The next step is to click on this ellipsis here and click on this bulk change. When you do this, you're going to be redirected to the next screen where you're going to pick what issues you want to change or move. And so we're going to select them all because we don't want to do this one by one defeats the purpose. And now this is where you want to not click edit. If you click on edit, you're going to go down this rabbit hole and you're not going to find what you're looking for. But if you look very closely at the text, Atlassian and Jira is actually helping you out here. Look at this text here. Move issues allows you to move issues to a new project and issue types. Now this is misleading. It can't, it's, it should say and or, because if you want to change the issue type, this is also the option for you. So we're going to click on move here. And now we're going to basically leave the project alone, but this is where we kind of divert. So if you wanted to move the issues to another project, you would now here pick that other project. But since I don't want to do that, I'm not going to move them. I'm just going to change the issue type. All I got to worry about is the bottom one. Now it is perfectly possible for you to do an and condition. You can move them to another project and you can change their issue type all in one sweep. So keep that in mind. Okay. Now you hit next. And from here, it's just going to ask you a couple of different questions. You're just going to answer them as best as you can. You're just going to hit confirm. And then Jira is going to go do its thing. Now, because this there are only eight issues, it's going to take a second. But if you were doing hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, then expect to spend a few minutes on the screen and watch a little paint dry. Once it's done, you can come back to your Jira project. It does take a second. So sometimes you got to refresh your screen or sometimes you just got to wait a little bit. In my particular case, I just refreshed and now you can see that they're all stories. Now, this is the easiest way to do this bulk changes without sitting there and again, getting that carpal tunnel. And a couple of things for you to consider as well. In order to do what I just did, you need to have the appropriate permission. I will show you real quickly. In the project, if you can go to your project settings and you go to permissions, there is a section down here towards the bottom that says move issues. If you don't meet the qualifications for that permission here, you're not going to be able to do what I just described. So if you run into any problems trying to do your move, it's because you either a don't have the right permission in the source project or B you don't have the right permission in the destination project. So you want to make sure you can do it in both projects because just having it in one is not going to be enough. And finally, if for whatever reason you run into these problems and you can't modify your permission scheme because you're just not an admin, just have your Jira administrator watch this video and do the move for you. But just know that it is possible to bulk change your issue types and it is possible to bulk move all your issues from one project to another. If you found this video beneficial, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you got value out of the video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, before we part for today, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Check out the merch store. I got a few different designs. Get one of each. And also check out my courses that are now available for you to take. All right. I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.